Well, this thing got heated. A morning TV talk show host walking off the set on live television after a heated discussion about the NFL's draft pick, Michael Sam, kissing his boyfriend on ESPN. It's being pushed in, in, in faces. It, the, Had he been kissing his wife, would it have bothered I would have you? said, get a room. Arms Are we and... being completely truthful when you say that it wouldn't ha that it would have bothered you just as much had he been kissing his wife? Yeah, you we would as not be talking about this if someone kissed their wife. The why why does she not have the right to say what she means without being slammed I'm saying, back? Why is that she does, but no, she's just, it's an she's argument. Just asking. Why can't I'm saying, we why just accept that, that she feels one. that way and leave it alone? Well, I don't think that there's any any argument about about that. Okay, and you're going to leave. No, I'm going to go to Midland. Okay. okay. All right. That was that. Off to Midland. That was Amy Kushner, and now her reaction setting off a firestorm on social media. Uh, last night on the Kelly file, she said she was the one under attack. I'm shocked at the outlandish and most, if I told you, you we couldn't I can't even air. put it on air. Yeah. Death threats rape threats, petitions to be fired. Uh, it's just, it's, in, it's insane. And it's, and it's all it is, it's a voice screaming out against something that, for me, was traditional views. Well, what about this? Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor, and Lars Larson, a syndicated radio host for Compass Media Networks. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Off to Midland morning, she goes. Bill. I don't know if she made it there. Apparently it's a long drive. But Leslie, do you understand, <laughs> I guess, um, maybe the threats that have been launched against her and um, why she would be so defensive. Go. Oh, God. I, I could talk to you all day about this, Bill. I love this topic. Lars knows. He sends me emails from his uh, fans sometimes <laughs> that uh, threaten me and are mean to me. You know you do, Lars. Um, I, I have to tell you, uh, like my agent, my mother would say, as long as they spell your name right. I know some people may say this is outrageous. I've had death threats over health care uh, that my mother should have aborted me. This happens weekly. It's not pretty, but it's part of being in the public eye, that when you say something on radio or television, and people disagree, there are some very mean people out there, as there were regarding Michael Sams and to him uh, as a homosexual. And if she's going to put it out there, it's her First Amendment so right. But she's got to realize if she wants to be in this business, yeah. she's got to get a thicker skin. You, you seem to be saying that she should have been cool about it. I mean, that's what I hear you saying. And walking uh, off set, yeah, walking, walking off set, she's entitled to her opinion, but stay there and, and, and defend your opinion. Well, I mean, Staunch sometimes you can understand the anger people have, and sometimes they deal with it better than others. Lars, do you right. understand what's happening here? I, I think I do, and I think Michael Sam is the only adult in the room. He says he wants to focus on playing football and not about whether or not he's gay. He's gay, fine, so what? End of it. He kissed his boyfriend on television. It offends some people. Some people say yuck. I don't. I, I'm more of a libertarian about all that. But yeah, the media loves this thing, and I don't, I don't think it's appropriate. If one of these days, Bill, you get pictures of V. Stiviano kissing Donald Sterling, I'll bet a lot of Americans are going to say yuck to that. Are they entitled to say yuck? Yeah, they're entitled <laughs> to their opinion. And should they be vilified? Here's where the homosexual community yeah, really shows their lack of tolerance. They've decided that if you say yuck to that, even though there are lots of things that people People say yuck to that you should be vilified and criticized and in the case of the anchor from Texas she's threatened with all kinds of physical harm which I think Leslie unlike what you said does not go with the job so we, you're, you you're saying to, Lars you're making the case that everybody has to chill out on everybody both sides has to and chill that out. you have to respect the opinions and feelings of others Equal. And the gay community is not doing that. They pleaded decades ago when I became a reporter for tolerance. Then they wanted acceptance. Now they want celebration. These days, if you don't openly endorse uh, a, a gay man kissing another gay man on television, you are going to be vilified. Well, what about and that's that not point? America. What about that point, Leslie? Well, uh, first of all, uh, Lars, it, it doesn't come with the, the job that people threaten your lives. You that, that, by the way, it. for people doing that to me and to Lars, it's illegal. And there is a division in the government that handles that. But uh, you know what? I do agree with Lars somewhat. And I almost fainted here, Lars, at your love and your tolerance. <laughs> but we don't know that we don't know that all of these uh, threats or calls for uh, her to be fired are from the gay community. I mean, there's a huge global community uh, that support uh, people's uh, right 
to uh, their sexual orientation that are not uh, homosexual. I, I I don't think it's fair to just uh, pin it on the homosexual. It doesn't community matter where the they're coming community. from. You get the sense that this debate is now it's taken off yet again, Lars, and I don't know where it goes. Well, and, and but, think but, about but it this. started Michael's yet again. Well, Michael Sam wants to be not the icon for the gay community. He's made it clear in his comments. He does not want to be their new icon. They clearly want him to be their icon, and they're planning to use him as a symbol going forward. He has the right to be free from that while still being gay. You can be a member of the club without having to be on the, on the front page of their latest True, political Lars, uh, you know, adventures. Now, now he's going to make. Lars, it will now never change history that he's yeah. the first and openly gay NFL player. That's part of history. It shouldn't well, be and you know who he is solely and define him, but it's part Lars, of his legacy going forward. You know what's ridiculous about that, though? He's the first openly gay. We've had gay athletes for a long, long time, so it's news that exactly. Finally and and one let me tell you out, something. So what, what this woman did to me. And what this woman did, in my opinion, is wanted to say, look, I don't want to see it because if I don't see it, it's not happening. It doesn't exist. I'd advise her and to, to me, change that, the that, channel, that, that's but not she has a very right progressive way. Uh, he's been drafted. Yeah, exactly. Listen, change he's, the channel. He's got to make the team before he's the first yes, player, he does. though. I mean, he's still got to make the team. That's true. I mean, that, that's, that is it, true. I understand a draft pick now and what it means. Leslie, thank, thank you. God helps the team if they decide not to include him. Wow. They'll that, be vilified. That, that may be a story next fall. <laughs> you uh, watch. Thanks to both of you. Thanks. We had no idea thanks, you Bill. guys email during the day. <laughs> we do. Uh, I mean, that, that's he fair and balanced. Love, love you, love you, Leslie. <laughs> Bye. Love you, Bye. Lars. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. They all love each other.